being in address at the press conference today, you know, organized by Tropic Nigerian Forum, Kenneth. The team, the role of philanthropic organization in a time of global economic meltdown. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, we have called the, this press conference in response to the social and economic situation in Nigeria. We must admit that Nigerians are passing through various difficult moments. On the economic front, living and coping with the harsh realities have become extremely difficult. Many have lost their jobs, some factories have closed down, while some are planning to do so. There are historical explanations for the downturn. After, after, apart from years of misrule, the economic situation in the, in the country was compounded by a 2020 <laughs> swap, which led to the closure of 2 million small and medium scale enterprises. Many Nigerians were forced to return their little earned money to their banks, but returning the money back to them become difficult. Many, many poor traders lost out during this traffic Naira swap windows. This was made even more difficult due to the removal of oil subsidy by the government of President, I mean, or the former president, Mahmoud Wari, having stopped in the 2020, budget the funding of oil subsidy from June last year. The river was sudden, so also were the irrigation sustainers. Today, there are catastrophic consequences of the terrible decision taken by the CBN. In 2023, Naira Nigeria annual inflation rate has hit 31.70%, rising from 29 to 90% in January this year. Food inflation was 35 to 41% in January 2024, from 33 to 93 in December 2023. Unemployment rate is increasing. The World Bank actually placed Nigerian unemployment rate as a much higher figure of 33%. State capacity is ebbing. Service delivery is slowing while agriculture have been negatively affected by violence and terrorism. The plight of children and orphans, which we want to really talk about today, the major features of this trend are Nigerians' youth, who constitute about 70% of the population. This population are people under 30, while some 42% 40, are under 15 years. The harsh economy hits children like a hot knife, worst are ovens, ovens. In Nigeria, there is an estimated population of 17 to, I mean, 0.5 million orphans, most east in the northeast, where insurgency is well pronounced. The United Nations Children Fund, that's UNICEF, noted that over 700,000 children well suffer after populations in the northeast. The entire population of the northeast is 26 million some 12% of the total population of Nigeria. However, in the South and Middle Belt, the problems also persist. There's low-scale amateurs over I mean, war in the Middle Belt and in the, and, and the South. The farmers' other splashes have left thousands of people displaced, while in the Southeast, the conflicts with separatist group have left many dead and children becoming orphans. Toward our rules in the space of kidnapping, killings and of such in the terrorism, which has refused to stop, meaning that more children will fail victims to this person. And today, this testimony from the tour we had so far from Petrofic Nigerian Forum. At the annual meeting of this the Petrofic Nigerian Forum PNF in late 2023, we decided to focus in 2024 on ovens. The starting point was to embark on the tour of Nigeria to fill the impulse. We then early March organized a tour of the country. We saw poverty in its grimmest form. We saw poor and malnourished and nourished children. We saw people without hope. We saw hunger in its raw farm. This has raised a new consciousness in us. We deeply concern about the plans of these children, especially orphans. 
we are worried about our children with neither father nor mother. We hope at this difficult moment. Why the federal government and state government should be command, commended for their fearless effort at this critical moment. Which we observe that there's no way others, especially children below the age of 18, will benefit from the various palliative programs. These children will grow up if there's no care to hate and, and fight the society. They will desist their country with cruel hatred. We have to do something urgent. And that's why this government is coming on board. The National President, Association of Orphanage and Home Operators in Nigeria, Reverend Gabriel Oyedeji, says there are over 143 million children in need in, in Africa, out of which Nigeria has 17.5 million of our and vulnerable children. The philanthropic organization, the time is at is now. To act is now. There are many philanthropic organizations in Nigeria which, I mean, we want to see our children that ask no parents will benefit from what God has endured them. The better endowed needs to be to do more to assist and uplift the less privileged. The PNF, that's Petroleum Nigerian Forum, is a body committed to bringing together Nigerians who are passionately committed to protect the image of our, their country, Nigeria worldwide, and rally our true development involved. Children of Human and Libya, we are ready to push a philanthropist organization we wish to do so more so as to save Nigeria, as Nigeria for every children. We identify, support, and encourage Nigerians at home and in diaspora who are by their deeds of philanthropists are making a recovery contribution to improving the living standard of our people anywhere across the country. An exceptional achievement worth celebrating. Uh, I, want to, I want the press to know that the PNF will always continue to appreciate the individual. If you are done very good in your society, we appreciate you and we, we, we allow other people to emulate you. In our talk, Nigeria cannot be mentioned the Stalin example of American based professor of medicine. Uh, this year, 2024, the PNF sampled this man among all the philanthropists in the world. And he's from Nigeria, and we, we, we've done a talk. We discovered that he's a man that uh, other other persons can also work in line with and see his impact and achievement so far. Uh, who through his orphanage foundation has built and, and donated an orphanage in Imo State, already. This apart from other projects that have been donated in other parts of the Southeast Nigeria. Which other philanthropic group, individuals, and organizations will emulate this striking example? We have visited the orphanage and we are, are compelled to speak to the world about this remarkable feat with the hope that others will follow this indelible footprint. We saw education, essential of life, clothing and housing provided by individuals for thousands of offers in Nigeria. The only way we can honor this achievement is to speak out in order to encourage other Nigerians. We are glad we visited Imo State to tell the hidden stories of honor to little children. We are the Patriotic Nigerians for Opinion. Applaud this American-based Nigerian professor from Mason, philanthropist, Professor Emeka Omer. For his support to Nigeria, we believe any any anyone that wants to serve, serve this the country in any capacity should make a difference towards the development of Nigeria. This month we talk about Professor Emeka is an excellent example in Imo State. We saw hundreds of orphans that has been given hope and uplifted from despair. He is one of the greatest signposts of the nation, building in a collective sense not leaving development of alone to the government. Why we are commending this prop, this man called Professor Umira, for some ongoing project to support the federal government of Nigeria. The PNF as, a, as an organization calls on Nigerian philosophies to do more in their state by emulating him. This case is a separate and remarkable contribution which other well-do Nigerians at home in diaspora should try to emulate. It is heartwarming that we still have people like this prop 
Emeka Omera, who is passionate about making significant donations to contribute towards upholding the living standards of his people back at home. And Nepi Nigerian generally, this singular contribution is highly commendable, considering that it is meant to give shelter home to the poor, to the poor and a place of them to make life comfortable for them, to enable them to have a sense of belonging in society and live normal life as other Nigerians. We see this gesture as a form of palliative to the orphans, which will go a long way to caution the painful effect on them of the prevailing economy. Realities following the removal of subsidy on behalf of the direct beneficiaries of these projects, among others, and other Nigerians to their circumstances, who are looking upward, instantly, hopefully and prayerfully, that they, that they be granted help in whatever form. We, the Forum of Relatively Nigerian, deeply and sincerely thank Professor Emil Kamara for making this remarkable contribution to his life for the orphans, among our poor. We encourage him to go on living in living in this good position to help and serve others, particularly needing Nigerian siblings, confident that by this is joyfully being a blessing to his fellow human being in our dear country, Nigeria, to the earth and entire creation. An engagement and our engagement as a group with orphans in Nimo. From my interaction with the children in Nimo. The orphan children, they are happy and are proud of their new situation. What this man called Professor Omer has done is great. There are thousands of Nigeria that can do the same, but have simply refused to care. If you can have 100 people doing the same thing it does, Nigeria will be essentially better. We support philanthropists whose means of life, life old, genuine and not fraudulent. This is more reason why he has won a heart. Uh, you, you just join me, join the Patriotic Nigerian Forum. We have the background here. We're not be able to read the background, but we have the copy. Uh, a, he, he, he has done a lot based on this uh, CV, I mean, the biography. Let me go straight to the uh, demand. What was in time? Gentlemen of the press, the Petropic Nigerian Forum, as I said earlier, is to <coughs> identify ourselves with the true Nigeria, the people that has done very good things in our society. And we are trying to recommend also to com I mean to commend him to call the federal government. Number one here, we demand for the federal government to honor and recognize someone like Professor Emeka Umera based on his impact to the masses for him to serve more in this society. We challenge our media friends to call out other philanthropists in the country to do more in order to bridge the widening gaps of poverty and bring hope to a huge but dis despair, despairing population of children without parents all over Nigeria. Three, we commend the effort of Mr. President, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, to deal with the very messy economic situation he inherited. We call on him too as a part of the ways to reform the economy, bring all the philanthropist organizations and individuals in Nigeria together in a round table each year. Mr. President should appeal to them to make their contribution into a national philanthropist fund, that is NPF. Four, this fund should be used to address the clients of poor children across the country. From our research, as PNF. As PN. There are about 2,000 philanthropists, individual and organizations in Nigeria, each of which is, is in a position to raise up to 20 million naira every year to support the fund. This fund can eat 4 trillion from this fund. Finally, number five, we call on President Tinubu, Ashwaju Ame Tinubu, to establish the Office of Philanthropy Commission with a special advisor who will coordinate Nigerian philanthropists all over the world for effective fundraising for the prosperity, peace, and stability of Nigeria. 